Let me remind you of something. Sexual desire is the devil. It's the devil speaking to you. If you are giving into your temptations, you are sinning. You are sinning, you are disgracing the beauty of making love and having sex with someone that you're supposed to. You are demeaning it, devaluing it. You're taking away from yourself. God intended sex to be for connecting with the other being and creating a child, creating another human being, creating a miracle, creating beauty in this life, creating life. If you're not down to create life, you're disgracing yourself. And this is why there's a lot of YouTube videos about semen retention. I feel like semen retention is a thing because there's so many people addicted to just sinning, addicted to temp temptations, and they can't not give in. So this semen retention makes them feel better. It's just a title for valuing yourself. You don't have to say, yeah, I'm retentioning, yeah. Like, don't take pride in the title. Take pride in having grace in yourself. You need to understand the whole big picture of why you're doing it and what you're doing. It's not because you're addicted to sex. It's because you want to value yourself. It's because you want to increase your, your power in yourself. Because if you keep giving it, giving in to your temptations, God will not give you your power. <laughs> karma, karma comes. Karma, I feel, is a different thing. But God intended sex to not be disgraceful. And sex is everywhere. Sex is absolutely everywhere. Everywhere you scroll, social medias, it's all on marketing posts, advertisements, it's everywhere. Because the thing is, the people with the power and the money, they milk that, that shit out of you. They literally want you to be so not in touch with yourself that you are looking for sex. You are looking for anything that's attractive, anything that can grasp your eye, distracting you. It's all distractions. It is a distraction to yourself. You're better off looking in a mirror than looking out into the real world because you'll get distracted. You will get so distracted from yourself. You won't even feel like yourself anymore. You'll feel this sexual desire and that's the devil. That is the devil speaking to you. So it's up to you if you want to give in. It's up to you if you want to talk back. It's up to you. It's up to you. But I'm reminding you, sexual desire, desire, the desire to be sexual in any way is the devil. It's the devil. I didn't make it up. This is not, I'm not making it up. And I'm just reminding you. I'm reminding you. Because semen retention shouldn't be this big popular thing. It should just be normalized. And guys really have to pat themselves on the back. And not just guys, girls too. Girls too. Girls do it too. Okay? This goes for everybody. This goes for absolutely everybody. Because they don't just target the men. The men are the easiest because men are simple, right? But they don't just target the men. They don't. So... Just a reminder, sexual desire is the devil. And if you give in, you are sinning. So yes, semen retention will help you. Semen retention will get you on the right track, but I don't want you labeling it as semen retention. Don't label it like that. Label it as you being grateful for yourself. You putting value toward what you truly believe in. And that's you, that's you, unless you Unless you really have a wife and a future wife or you really want a woman that is yours and you want to create a family and you want kids and children and you want this whole big family, that is the beauty of making love. And it's not called sex, it's make you love, right? We started labeling sex as all these different names and words and terms to try to justify, to try to justify this sin. It is one of the biggest sins besides killing somebody. It's one of the biggest sins. So why are we justifying it by 
labeling all these labels. Stop do stop labeling it as semen retention. Semen retention is just you trying to sugarcoat it. No. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Semen retention is supposed to be what you're supposed to be doing. It's not a new like phenomenon. It's not a new trend. It shouldn't be a trend. It should just be part of your lifestyle. It should be something you believe in. It should be something that yeah, something you should believe in. Like, you should believe in yourself. So believe in the fact that you are holding your power inside yourself. Straight up. And if you've done the research on semen retention, you know what it means. So stop putting a title on the sexual desire and just understand it. Understand it totally. Why are you even attracted to someone? Why are you even... Why do you want to have this feeling? You know, you need to acknowledge it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to remind everyone of your sins and your temptations, and it's the devil. Remember, the devil talks to you every single day. The devil is talking to you, and you need to listen to yourself. Listen to yourself more. The devil is everywhere. You cannot hide. You cannot hide, but you can understand what you truly believe in. And don't label it as semen retention. Semen retention is some something, some... I don't want to say a guy made it up, but somebody made it up and they were just trying to sugarcoat it, justify it. So, yeah. Thanks guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.